Have you seen the Notlan drip marketing? Yes. So this is my favorite of all the drip marketing I've seen so far. Kachina, she's my favorite. She's she's adorable. I don't know what kind of creature she is, but she looks like a bunny. She's got a bunny tail. She's got little bunny ears. <clears throat> she also has. So I've noticed. Does every Notlan character have a mount? Are they adding mounts? Uh, yeah, I love her. So for me, Kachina is a must pull. She's adorable. This is required. Uh, the other ones that I've seen. I love the leopard lady. Leopard lady is also very tempting. Oh, this is the guy. He reminds me of Xiao. So this is the other guy from Drip Marketing. So if y'all don't know, Genshin Impact is, in, is another game I'm obsessed with. And um, they have an expansion coming out next month. And so we're looking at the drip marketing for characters they're adding. Um, for, for, for not lawn. This is a skip for me. Like, I just, he seems like a little short. Uh, not, not my type. Not a husband, though, in my opinion. But he has this little guy with him, which is really interesting. What the hell is that? This little pixel guy. Uh, <laughs> for me, I would skip. Finally, we've got... Oh, yeah! My girl! So this is probably one I will pull for. Her. Shark girl. So she has a shark. Is this a mount? Is this like a surfboard? She's like a surfer girl? I love her. I'm obsessed. This is the character I need. It's required. <laughs> I love her. She has little fish in her eyes. It's so cute. I've noticed. Oh, she got. Oh, you can see her toes. Yeah, I love her. Uh, Mual Mualani. Super cute. <clears throat> she also has bunny vibes. Oh my god, you're right. She kind of does with the ear. Like, it's not ears, but is this fins or something? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's a must pull for me. I've seen some people kind of critical of the designs because they're very streetwear oriented. And that is pretty different from what Genshin has given us. Um, like, the, the Pyro Archon looks to have a biker suit on. You see people with like tennis shoes and like, he's got tennis shoes a sort of more urban streetwear look and i'm here for it because it's different um it doesn't really bother me but i don't I, I do understand why some people are like in my fantasy game the streetwear you know we, we have this debate in every game that's this fantasy oriented and then get streetwear like we see this all the time in f14 <laughs> but i think she looks great um Think about, you know, with Fontaine, they also had a different style for that was um, inspiring a lot of the clothing choices. Like in Fontaine, they were leaning into this 1800s frilly dresses and frilly, like look at uh, Nouvellet's frilly uh, suit and um, Navia's super uh, crazy dress with the parasol and everything. That was also a pretty different stylistic stylistic choice for the type of clothing they were going for not long is more you know like i said streetwear so i can see how maybe it's not everyone's vibe but i like it i'm, I'm pretty happy with the characters so far i got two characters i really care about a lot that i want so all good for me uh it's good <laughs> it's gotcha dawn trail oh my god it kind of is <laughs> yeah i got it. <laughs> Maybe it will be. Maybe it will be because I saw the um, the trailer and where there were, I think it was the it was this huge teaser trailer for not long we watched last week and in it they were discussing a big competition that was going to be held and I just couldn't help but think oh my god are all these people going to go and compete to be like in charge I hope not. 